All right. It's time to prove how much I actually know ReZero. I hope that I can pass this test. This is called ReZero Quiz. Can you pass from a kid nut? Let's go. Isekai Quartet. Aqua, Darkness, Megumi, Kazuma. These are... Emilia back, Subaru back. I think this is Overlord Gang because I see Ainz's horn things, right? And who the fuck are these dudes? Oh, Yojo Senku, Senko, right? This is, uh, 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 Tanya, Tanya. So Tanya is here, Overlord's here, Reezer is here, Konosuba is here. And Roswell's the teacher. <clears throat> Welcome everyone to the first annual ReZero Trivia Quiz. <laughs> this is weird, having Roswell's voice. Oh, sorry, Echidna's voice basically, you know, be Roswell. Hold on, let me increase the volume. This exam contains 20 questions and will increase in difficulty as it goes on. All questions right. involving web novel and light novel spoilers will Okay, no web novel, light novels. Not be given on this first exam. However, some of the more difficult questions can't be answered simply by watching the anime nor by reading the novels. Okay. I'd like to encourage everyone watching to keep track of your score and let me know how you did when the exam's over. But Let's remember, go. no cheating. We're using an honor system, so you guys gotta be honest about the scores you get. And because David forgot to bring his- I feel like if I fail it, it's gonna be even more fun content. Like, rather than being a know-it-all, if I failed it, it'd be even funnier. Scantron, he's gonna say his answers. Bro, do you guys still see this shit in school? Scantrons? Yo, do they still have this shit in school? Are they still actually using this? That's crazy. That's, they still, and who the fuck is profiting off of this? What company, what corpo is like manufacturing these scans? Because like every... Every body of school uses the same thing. Imagine how much money, like, the corporal that owns whoever, whoever is producing this product makes, bro. Because, like, every fucking school uses it. Out loud, so no copying off David. Oh, yeah, David's here. Hey. He's going to be taking the exam with you guys. David, All right. how do you feel about the exam? Well, not very confident. Um, little Scantron is the company? Scantron um, net worth. Scantron company valuation. You need 1,001 employees to print off this same fucking paper, bro? 1972, it's private, so we can't really see like their public details. That's interesting, though. Well, washed up on the, uh, the re-zero. Forgot to study. Yeah, did not study at all. All right, well- Whoa, 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 what was, the, what was that at the end, huh? What was that? Ugly virgin loser thinks Rem is best girl vapes. I don't- I think I'm ugly. I think like I'm slightly above average. I'm not a virgin. I would hope to think that I'm not a loser. I don't think Rem is best girl. Rem, who is the best girl in ReZero for me so far? <sighs> Fuck. Elsa's dead. I don't know anymore. <laughs> Ram? I do love Ram. I, I, I do love Ram, but I'm not sure. I, I don't I'd have to really think about it. I have to really think about it. Thank you for the index news. Maybe we'll still watch that. All right. Well, we're going to get into it. David, do you need a last minute? Like if Priscilla pops off this season, if the Sun Princess actually pops off this season, then I feel like there's a good chance that I could love Priscilla a lot. A bathroom break or anything? No, I think, I, I think I'll be fine. All right. Just hold it in for now. Yeah. Um, everyone, go ahead and remove everything from your... What? What the fuck is this supposed to be, bro? desk except your number two pencil and your graphing calculator and don't forget to show your work Good okay luck. two one go question number one mm. what's name does satala satala and puck says oh that's a wicked taste why did amelia call um subaru like why did what did amelia say that i think amelia wanted to test subaru because the name satala is obviously the taboo she represents satala to a lot of everyone else and she gets discriminated against. And she wanted to see if Subaru was actually from around here. And by telling her, telling him that, we did confirm that he is quote unquote beyond the Great Waterfall. Amelia go by in the first episode. She goes by Satella. That is ding, ding. correct. Amelia does go by Satella in the first episode. Question number two. What phrase does- Kashira. I suppose. Beatrice often end her sentences with. 
She says Kashida. Nice. That is correct. Beatrice says Kashida at the end of her sentences, but we will also accept I suppose, I suppose. if you watch the English dub instead. Question number three. Who is the... Reinhard. Reinhard or Satella? I think that there are, people say that if they were to fight, it would never end, right? But I'm going to go with Reinhardt right now. Strongest character in ReZero. Uh, Reinhardt. That is correct as well. We will also accept Satella if you put that. Not only have I gotten Kashira and I suppose I got Reinhardt and Satella. I'm not just getting the answer right, guys. I'm literally getting the other potential answer right too. Now, these answers are fucking baby. Come on, like, this is some baby shit, right? This, this is some baby Goo Goo Gaga answers. Come on, we need to get, increase the difficulty. Question number four. Who was the previous... Teresa Van Austria. Wilhelm is the sword demon. Wilhelm is not the sword saint. Teresa was the previous sword saint. And then it's Reinhardt, because Heinkel's a fucking bum. This sword saint. Uh, that is uh, Reinhardt's grandmother, Theresia. That is correct as well. Reinhardt's grandmother, Theresia van Estrella, was the previous sword saint. Question number five. Which character has previously never seen an unpeeled appa before? Oh, that's Priscilla, because she's too fucking rich. She's like, what? Appas are red? What do you mean? Oh, you peel it? Oh, you fucking peasants. ...had previously never seen an unpeeled appa before. That is uh, Priscilla. And another fun fact is... Priscilla is, I think, one of the only characters that has Aiden Appa. I know that, like, if we're going to go with the Forbidden Appa theory, and anytime an Appa is present or you interact with this, something bad fucking happens, and she's, like, one of the few people that's actually ate Appa on screen. Can we just guess that Priscilla's going to die this season? <laughs> I don't know. Because, <laughs> like, I'm also getting worried because Priscilla hasn't done shit. Up until now, this season, and now she's getting involved in arc 5. And I hope she pops off, but like... Uh-oh, forbid enough a theory! Priscilla is correct. Good job, David. You are 5 out of 5. Yeah. Alright, so that's about it for the easy questions. I hope nobody missed any of those. From this point on, the questions will start getting harder and... Uh-oh, we're going into the depth of fire. You guys might have to do a bit of guessing. You ready, right. David? Yes. <laughs> was that the millionaire bro? That, that, that was the fucking millionaire bro. <laughs> Have you seen it? Who wants to be a millionaire? Where it's like a multiple choice thing. That's the same fucking sound effect. Questions will start getting harder, and you guys might. Have to I do love that show. Guessing. You ready, David? Yeah. Yes. Let's go. Question number six. Yeah. How many un? Two thousand. Well, the number one thousand was brought up because sorry. Better use use. One no, better use use a limited amount of shadows against Puck in that one run when we were in the road. And Puck said, You'd have to use at least half of what Satala can do, right? To like compete against me. And Satala, I think, can do 2000. The number 2000 also gets repeated in the season finale of season one when Subaru and Amelia are talking to each other in the final climactic moment, which is so suspicious. It is so fucking suspicious how he subconsciously mentioned the number 2000, which further kind of supplements that theory that Subaru has lost his past memories. He does have this love for Satella that cannot be explained until we get more details in the future. Seen hands can Satella summon according to Puck? Well... I'd say this is even harder than Millionaire because like you have to come up with your own answer. This is not like a multiple choice guess. If this is multiple choice then it'd be a lot easier. I think... 2000. Yeah, nice. 2000 is correct. Puck claims that 1000 is half of what Satella could summon, so do the math. 2000 is the correct answer. Very yes, good, sir. David. Question number seven. True or false? Oto's divine protection allows him to communicate with animals, bugs, and the lesser spirits. See, I feel like I'm going to get this wrong. Because his divine protection, soul of the language, uh, does allow him to communicate with animals, bugs, even like to an extent like the trees and shit, right? But lesser spirits, 
for whatever reason, I feel like this should be specific to spirit art users. And this blessing may actually not have any effect with it. I want to go on a limb and say true, but I feel like I'm going to get this wrong because of the lesser spirits. So my answer is true. The lesser spirits just throw me off. Otto's divine protection allows him to communicate with animals, bugs, and lesser spirits. Um, now, I think this is true. That's my final answer. That is incorrect. Can I be correct for this? Because I literally explained to you the logic on why I'm going to get it wrong. Can I get a half point for that? Come on. Come on. I literally explained why I'm going to get this wrong. I specifically mentioned the lesser spirits and how a spirit art user... I should have gone with the gut. I should have gone with my gut. That's a minus one. What? Auto cannot communicate with... Wah, wah. Come on, 1, 1 point, 0 0.5. G give me, give me 0 0.5. This is not fair. Lesser spirits. Oh. But he can communicate with mm. animals and bugs. It was yep. a sort of trick question. Yeah. yeah I hate you. Sorry. You got me. But I called the trick question out. I should have went with my guts. I should have just said it. Listen, if I said yes blindly and just said, hoo, hoo, yeah, you can talk to anybody, I take that L, minus one. But because I explained to you the exact thought process of the trick question, I'm going to take a 0 0.5. Fuck you. Sorry, David. Question number eight. What color are... Well, here's the thing, Echidna. Roswell A Mathers or Roswell B Mathers and onwards? Because Roswell A Mathers is blue. The heterochromatic eyes does not happen until Roswell figures out how to send himself to the next generation, right? And then he took Regulus back shots, and even if he's Regulus is a virgin, he took Regulus semen and concepted Roswell B Mathers. <laughs> it's my stupid theory still. Blue, right? It's this color. It's, it's this bluish color, which is predominant in both eyes. And then B Mathers, you get this gold eye. Roswell's eyes. I think <laughs> one of them is like yellow. Yeah. I know that. And I'm just gonna. I like to call it gold. Gold sounds like more prestigious than yellow. The guess. I think the other one is blue. That is correct, David. Very good. <laughs> it's funny because Ross is on the screen, but I don't think David can see this, right? This is the final edited version. This is the final edited version, okay? So obviously, you know, David doesn't see this shit. Good. His left eye is yellow and his right eye is blue. Okay. If anyone put yellow or blue, you can receive half credit for the. How about... I get more credits because I fucking defined when the heterochromatia happened between A Mathers to B Mathers. I'm taking 1.5 points for this. Fuck you. I'm taking 1.5 points for this. But not only this, I'm going to take 1.5 points for this because before they mentioned who is, you know, they, I, I answered multiple questions. I answered Reinhardt and Satila. Echidna, I've already answered comprehensively beyond beyond what Echidna was mentioned before. Two questions. Remember in the earlier sections? Combine that with this. I think I deserve 1.5. Fuck you. I'm, I'm cheating. I'm taking 1.5. The question. Question number nine. Who is the current? Ah, oh, that's Puck. Come on. Used to be Melaquera. Now it's Puck. Frozen Bond. Great Spirit of Fire. This is actually kind of tricky, though, because like if you haven't taken like um like physical chemistry, like if you don't understand like the concept of like the concept of cold does not exist, right? In the world of physics, in the world of like this shit, like like it's all about taking the heat away or increasing the heat that causes this hot and cold sensation. So like it never made sense of like how the fuck does an ice user actually is a spirit of fire? Well. Technically, they're taking the heat away, you know, and then they're creating the ice like that. Uh, hmm. This is Puck. a tough one. Used to be Malakora. Frozen uh, Bonds. 
I am I'm drawing a blank. mediator. I'm gonna. I am mediator Melaquera. I'm going to feel really stupid when you tell me the answer. Used to be Melaquera, then Puck took over. I just feel really stupid when you tell me the answer. The answer is Puck. Yes, sir. Wah, wah. Uh, wh what? Exactly. Because Puck is an ice user. To the average person, this seems fucking crazy. Until you sit down and think about, all oh, right, the cost of heat, take away, cold. Yes, Puck is not the great spirit of ice. He is the great spirit. Does great spirit of ice actually exist, though? Because if it did, that'd be so troll. Spirit of fire. If that confuses anyone, I'd highly recommend you go and watch my video about magic in ReZero. It's basically uh. got everything you needed. Oh yeah, we still haven't watched that yet. We gotta go watch that later on. Know about magic, and it explains why Puck is the great spirit of fire. I didn't know that. Go watch my video. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, That's that guy. Question number 10. Of the following... Which is still a version? Guys, do you think Wilhelm with a grandson is a virgin? Hmm. <laughs> he also spelled Reinhardt wrong, Reinhardt? Ross, it's Mr. Who the fuck is Mr. Save Point guy? Appa? Appa guy has kids. Characters, which one is still a virgin? Wilhelm? Yeah. Reinhardt. Reinhardt. Roswell? And Mr. Save Point Guy. Well, Mr. Save Point Guy, if you don't really know, right? Mr. Save Point Guy, if you don't really know. There's a really cool art I want to show you. Uh, farming, 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 far. Oh, yeah. Look at this, bro. That's the sickest art of the Appa guy. I think his name is Kadomon Rish or something. And he's the uncle of the two twin girls, the lollies that you see in Felt Camp that you saw once during the entrance in the rural selection. But obviously, he has a wife and a kid, okay? Also, fun fact, the scar was apparently given to him by the wife. Can you believe that? Can you believe Mr. Kadomon Rich's scar? It has to do with his wife? That's crazy to me. Like, what? The wife is responsible for this shit? What the fuck happened? She seems like such a sweetie. But... Mr. Save Point Guy, if that is the Appa Guy, then no, right? Roswell, he can't be because he is literally sending himself, his soul, down to his descendants. He finds an agreeable host, some sort of partner he mates, creates an offspring, then he transfers his soul down to it. Now, there is potential that Roswell actually is a virgin and he hasn't been actually involved in intercourse in order to produce the offspring, but by creating them artificially through test tubes. If we go with that theory, perhaps Roswell is a virgin. Wilhelm, we know, is not a virgin. He has a fucking wife. He has kids. Now, Reinhardt and Roswell, this is where it gets tricky. I believe that Reinhardt is the obvious answer here. I think Reinhardt should be the answer, but there is a chance that I'm wrong. Because Roswell, again, if he creates those descendants artificially, then this could be a trick question, and Reinhardt actually gets a lot of pussy. But I'm going to go with my gut and vote Reinhardt, with the excuse of Roswell being the one, if my theory is true. Mr. Save Point guy has a kid. Mm -hmm. Winhelm has a wife and kid. Presumably had a kid. Grandfather. Somehow, because Therese is... yeah. Um, I'm gonna guess Roswell. That is incorrect. God damn it. Reinhardt is still a... Why'd you guess Roswell, bro? Reinhardt's too nice for pussy. Right. Reinhardt, if any girl tried to put out to Reinhardt, you know what he say? You know what he said about the dragon sword? Remember the dragon sword for fucking Elsa? Well, you see, this sword cannot be drawn if the moment does not necessitate it, meaning you are not worthy. I bet he says the same shit to the other girls too. All the girls are like, Reinhardt, please fuck me. And he's like, well, you see, my dragon dick cannot be activated unless you're worthy. That, that's my headcanon. Reinhardt's a fucking virgin because until the worthy foe appears, his sheath, it, it will never be drawn. 
That is incorrect. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, <laughs> is still a That's right. Not Reinhardt. More like Rein Soft. Rein Limp. A virgin. Reinhardt's probably really good in bed, though. He probably has some bullshit divine blessing, just like divine protection, just like, you know, dumb, dumber, and dumbest. The mushroom tip kid, you know? I hope we get to see him in this current arc. I hope that they're all in the Felt's camp and they've shown up to Pristella. That mushroom hair kid, he is the best fucker in Lagunica. Lore accurate. Divine protection. Makes him good in bed. I don't believe that, but... Uh... Well, he doesn't have a divine protection for everything. <laughs> um, Alright, question number 11. Divine protection to make sure his virginity is never lost. The Holy Maiden. Divine protection, Holy Maiden. Reinhardt will always protect his chastity because he never loses, not even his virginity. What is the name of Rem's flail? Oh, I mean, it's a morning star, right? But is there a specific name? Like, I think I know the type of the weapon. No, the type of the weapon is literally called flail. I don't know. I genuinely have no fucking clue on what the name of Rem's flail could be. Let's try to guess. Well, I want to guess it's Morningstar, but I'm immediately proven wrong because it's a flail, right? Maybe the name is called Morningstar. That'd be fucking hilarious. Something, Oni something? I mean, it's like, um, she's an Oni, right? Oh, Oni something? I'm just gonna go with Morningstar. That's my gut guess because types of weapon like that reminds me of Morningstar. But the inclusion of Flail here probably means that I'm wrong. Oh God! I can't believe I don't remember this. What do you mean you can't believe you don't remember this? Nobody remembers this shit. This is this is like such a specific thing that you'd only know if you fucking checked out the fucking wiki, bro. Um. I really don't know. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say some random and uh, say it. Uh, I don't know. Actually, never mind. The correct answer is Morning Star. What? What? But the Morning Star is a type of weapon. That's cr Morning Star is a type of weapon. Morning Star. This is it. See, but he said flail. He said flail. So I thought that, shit, it's, it's actually not a morning star, but it's, it is a morning star. Lucky as fuck. Lucky as fuck. Uh, I don't know, actually, never mind. The correct answer is morning star. Let's go. What? Oh, yeah, okay. Question number 12. Which royal selection candidate plans to sever- Krush. Krush is the one that wants to prevent the covenant to be indebted to the dragon. I think that- there is an issue with the dragon. I think there's something so sus. I still think there's, there's a couple theories that I have for the royal family just being gone. Because we know that Covenant also deals with like specific bloodlines, right? So it, it, it could make sense that the dragon is the one that created this like virus to kill off the royal family. And why would they do that? The Covenant is supposed to be something where the dragon is supposed to show up and help the kingdom in need. But if we approach this into thinking that the kingdom is separate from the royal family and then the royal family actually was trying to get rid of the dragon and the dragon realized that he was potentially being cut off from the kingdom, maybe he created this plague to kill off the royal family to create... And then he also wanted only girls now. And he changed the monarch gender to only be women this time. That's one theory I have. And the dragon is a bad person. Or it has nothing to do with the dragon. And perhaps Pandora. Pandora faked the fucking plague. I, basically, in any theory, I just add Pandora to it. And it just becomes like bullshit fun. But Krush is the one to do this shit with. And Krush isn't royal family, but Krush does have a childhood friend who was Lugunican royal family. That childhood friend has died. Maybe that has to do with Krush's motivation about getting rid of the covenant with the dragon. That childhood friend was also friend zoned. And another very interesting thing that's been revealed in Trial 3 in Season 2 for Amelia, the disaster that's yet to happen. In a future, and I'm not sure if Krush has this current timeline, Krush talks about a curse. Krush talks about a curse that she'll overcome. I'm not sure if that curse 
exist currently or if that happens in the future. But I'm thinking, could this relate to the dragon? I'm not sure. Thematically, she just wants to get rid of the dragon. And I'm trying to relate anything dragon-like to anything we know about Krush. But the answer for this is Krush. The kingdom's contract with the great dragon Volcanica. Um, is that the, uh, what's her name? Um, the one that's not from, uh, Lagunica, the one from the neighboring, what's her name? Karalagi Anastasia? Nah, she just wants to be a landlord. <laughs> she straight up just wants to be a fucking landlord of Lagunica, bro. She don't give a fuck. She's just peak capitalist. Now, I wonder what kind of... Uh, maybe she could, you know, make sure that the economy prospers and there's not going to be such a terrible wealth gap between, like, the feudal monarchy nobles and, like, the peasants in the slums right now. But uh, Anastasia just wants to be landlord. has nothing to do with the dragon. Anastasia's from Kararagi. Yeah. I can give you the names of the candidates if you want. Yes. All right. We've got Amelia, Felt, Anastasia, Priscilla, and Krush. I think it... It might be Krush. Oh yeah? Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go with Krush. Is that your final answer? Yes. Yes, sir. That is correct. Krush Karsten plans to sever the kingdom's contract with the great dragon Volcanica. Yes, sir. Karsten 13. True or false, Rom used part of her broken horn. Yes, this is true. I'm not sure Ram personally used it, but the wand that Ram does use in season two. We don't, we don't really see it in... Do we see it in season one a couple times, actually? Maybe we do, but uh, yes, her wand is infused with her Oni horn, which is probably extremely powerful. To craft her favorite magic wand. Uh, um, uh, it's 50-50, so I'm, I don't know, true. but I'm just gonna say true. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Easy! She did, in fact, use part of her broken horn to turn it into a magic wand, which is pretty cool. Pipe? Question f Wait. Could Ram take her wand, stick it in her forehead? Think about it. <laughs> think about it. Think about it. Think about it. <laughs> just, just, I just want you to, to think about that for a second, okay? 14. What's the name of the kingdom west of Lagunica? Uh, west of Lagunica is Kararagi. North is Gusteko, the Holy Theocracy. Kararagi is Japanese capital's influence because of Hoshin of the Wilderness. South is dictator military fascism, uh, Volakia. And Pristella is the city in the center that we're in season three right now that basically is the bordering nations, right, between Kararagi and Lugunica. Whose population speaks with a Kansai dialect. Uh, I know you just said it, and it's already escaped my mind. I don't know. It starts with a K. <laughs> Alright, well, the correct answer is... <laughs> starts with a K wasn't good enough, damn. Sensei, a kid that's very strict with this one. Kara. Kara. I got it. Uh, Kara. Kara. I give you credit for that. Kararagi, the more I, the more I say Kararagi, the more I realize it sounds like Karage Chicken. Karage Chicken is also Japanese, right? I wonder if they have Karage Chicken over in Kararagi. Uh. It's probably called Kararagi Chicken, right? It's not gonna be just called Karagi or something, like Apple, Apple, that's probably like a different name. Question 15. How about this? If, if you get question 15 right, we'll give yeah. you credit for the last one. Okay. If I get this right, then I'm on a perfect record. I'm gonna take the points back. I know I said I gave myself 1.5 points back then, but I was kind of fraudulent, right? I kind of forced myself. Echidna himself is giving David a chance. I'm gonna take this chance for me too. Sweet. Mimi, Hetero, and Hivi. The Iron Fang, baby! Mercenary of the Kararagi camp! Hoshin, Private Army, Iron Fang. How do I know that? Well, they always do Iron Fang di diaries and break time as well. Come on, man. Are the three vice captains of what mercenary group? And who's the leader? Ricardo. And where is Ricardo right now? Missing. Where the fuck did Ricardo go in season three, bro? Apparently he's returning from something. I have no clue. Um, the... Uh... The Iron one. Fang. Hoshin the Private the Army. Big man who's <laughs> also a beast. Ricardo. 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 He's the captain of this mercenary. Yes, sir. I know he's the captain. Yes. Mercenaries of... <laughs> the correct answer is Fang of Iron. Same shit. Iron Fang, Fang of Iron. That's the same shit. I'm taking this point. Fuck you. I'm on a perfect record right now. I'm taking back the... Dude, dude. The fucking lesser spirit bullshit with auto skill. I fucking told you the logic on why I get it wrong, right? I'm taking the point back. I deserve this shit. 
See, you're saying all these answers and then I remember them after. Cow. Question 16. In a normal Oh, what the f Wait, is it only AV? Fight, who would win? Rem? Or What's a normal fight? No demon mode? I want to say Priscilla, right? Priscilla Yang Sword. I mean, Rem is sick, but like Priscilla, I, I'm going to go with Priscilla, right? I've seen what Rem can do. I haven't seen what Priscilla can do. I haven't seen her fight. I haven't seen her do anything. But the little points that we saw, this little, I know Rem is incredibly strong too, but that little nut she did to like Al's abs, the Yang Sword being drawn, I'm going to go with Priscilla. Or Priscilla. I feel like this is a trick question. Normally, I would say Rem because she's Why? the best girl. But the fact that this is a question makes me doubt that. So I'm going to say Priscilla. I would think the exact opposite. I would think that this is a trick question and you want to answer Priscilla, but it's actually Rem. But ding ding. That is correct. Uh, yes, Priscilla would beat Rem in a fight, uh, a normal fight. What's a question normal 17? fight? What's a normal? What about a. Is there a non normal fight? Maybe there's like backup strategies of Subaru like ganging up on Priscilla by laying down the different traps? I don't know. What, what's a not normal fight? In a serious fight. <laughs> what, what is the difference between a serious and a normal fight, bro? What the fuck? Uh, alright. The, the Grey Spirit of Fire or... Dude, part of me want to say White Whale just because Puck is such a fucking deadbeat asshole. Just, just, I just want to, just, <laughs> I want to say White Whale just because fuck Puck. I feel like this is Puck, right? I, I feel like the answer is Puck. Maybe I'm overrating. And like, what other different things are we going to consider? Like, the time limit that Puck has? The amount of like, I don't know. Like, there's, there's a lot of nerfs that Puck had. There's a lot of restraints, but I want to say Puck. Who would win? Puck or the White Whale? Puck. Puck, obviously. Thank God. And you are obvious. Thank God. Thank God. I almost answered White Whale. <laughs> just, just to prove a point. Just to take a, a minus one just to fucking prove a point, but it's Puck. Obviously correct. Yeah. Puck would defeat the White Whale in a... Then why didn't he? Why didn't he? All the fuck are too busy treating this shit like a fucking nine to five, collecting a fucking paycheck, and going to fucking sleep, bro. Serious fight. Question eighteen. What color of? None. She doesn't wear underwear. Underwear is worn by Elsa Granheert. None. I think she goes commando. I think she goes commando. Like, if she actually did wear something, it's probably gonna be like black lace, black or purple, right? Something like kind of that matches her overall theme. But I'm gonna go beyond that and say commando. She wears no fucking panties. Blue striped. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Commando. The correct answer is black. Damn it. I'll take that minus one. I don't care. I already said black or purple. I wanted to go with the meme answer. It's not about the answers. It's about sending a message. I'm going to die with that commando answer. So I guess it would depend on the time of the month. Um, uh, question 19. Which of the... The worst singing voice? What? Well, we know that... Well, no, Priscilla didn't sing. She danced. But like the voice actor of Amelia sings a lot in the Reezer opening and endings, but I don't think that counts. What? I feel like, I feel like Amelia, I feel like Priscilla sings well. I feel like she does. We've seen her be good at dancing, and I think that she's a very, she's gotten like a sophisticated education and she probably sings well. So let's remove Priscilla. Amelia? I think she has a beautiful voice, but can she sing? It's unfair because she fucking sings in the openings and endings sometimes, right? In the soundtracks. But let, let's, let's include Emilia. Emilia can sing. It's, 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 it's a weird meta question because, you know, it's like it's a voice actor. It's not the character. Let's think about Anastasia. Potentially. Like, Anastasia Krushenfeld, 
I don't know which to choose out of three. I don't want to say felt because I feel like she's a a sewer rat. <laughs> what the fuck does she know about singing? You know, she's too busy being a fucking bandit. Krush? Maybe she's terrible at singing because she's always been this like alpha giga chad leadership commander, right? The whole Karsten family lead and that kind of like persona prevents her from doing dainty things like a lady, like perhaps singing or smiling, right? So I, I kind of want to like vote for Krush because of that logic. And then Anastasia, maybe I'm being dialectist, but her Kansai dialect. Maybe Anastasia can sing. Maybe she can too. Now this, let, let, now I, let's filter it down to Belt and Krush. Singing voice. I want to vote Krush because like thematically her entire identity before getting her memory erased is like this rigid commander that's not really supposed to sing. But Felt could be this naturally talented. Even if Krush wears a dress in season one, it doesn't change the fact that that's the kind of character Krush is. Now, this is a different timeline, Krush. Maybe the Krush after the name, the memories got erased, she can sing now. Fuck. This is hard. But if it's going to be an answer between Felt and Krush, I'm going to go with Krush due to the logic that I've prevented. Royals presented. Selection candidates has the worst singing voice. Wait, uh... Well, they all have very good voice, voice actors. actors. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's don't let unfair. their voice actresses fool you. Yeah. So the Amelia thing could be wrong, man. It could be Amelia. Because like the voice actor singing the fucking soundtracks in the open event, it doesn't fucking matter. Would an, would an elf know how to fucking sing? Like, I don't know. I, I, no, let's just go all in with Krush. I'm going to go all in with Krush because of the logic I presented on her being like this rigid commander leader type. This is just uh, the characters, not not their actual ah, voice fuck. Characters. Which character has the worst singing voice? Um, out of the canon. I want to say, like, Priscilla, or maybe even Amelia. What uh, is your final answer? Uh, <clears throat> I want to say Priscilla. Yo, I should have, like, the, the millionaire, like, options, you know? There's, like, a phone line. There's, like, a 50-50, you know? There's, there's a bunch of other shit, you know? It's like, I want to call a friend. I, 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 I want to get out of free jail card, skip, you know, stuff like that. I don't get any of that. I'm still going to cruise here. You should have chosen Amelia. Damn it, no! <laughs> yeah, Amelia is very tone deaf, according to the author. Yeah, see, I think I, I read Wait, that. what? Chosen Amelia. Damn it, no! <laughs> it's Amelia. She's tone deaf. The Sugoku is pretty toned on, bro. Fuck you. This is a bullshit question, bro. This, the author said it. The author, Tape, has said in the Q&A that Amelia's tone deaf. Fuck me for not watching that q and I'm minus two now. 18 out of 20 so far. Wait, we haven't even gotten 20 questions, but the perfect score right now for me is 90% after fucking around. Yeah, Amelia is very tone deaf, according to the author. Yeah, okay. See, I think I, I read that somewhere. Uh, yeah, cap. I don't know why I didn't cap. We're coming up on our final question. You got to really think about this. So this is the final question. At best, I can score 18 out of 20. At worst, I, I score 17 out of 20. And even that and 85%, I think that's a pretty good enough score. Considering how much I fucked around with Elsa's panties there. This one, because it's not going to be who you think it is. Okay. Question 20. If every character was ranked based on their amounts of mana, who would be in last place? What? You, you, is there, is there a list of characters? The amount. Is there a list of characters? You gonna, you gonna really fucking just have the entire roster of reasons? Ah, oh, fuck. It's looking like we're gonna get 17 out of 20, guys. It's looking like we're gonna get 17 out of 20, guys. Um, uh, I, you with Alpha guy, Alpha guy, Subaru's dad probably has so much mana, bro. <laughs> Ramji, what's well, Ramji have a shitload of mana? What's well, like the giant race of a shitload of mana? Uh, fuck. Amount of mana. Betty, right now. 
Hold up. Biko right Biko after using Al Shamak. Yeah, fuck you. Biko immediately after Al Shamak is the one who is last place in the rank of mana. I can just do that. Fuck you. This is a bullshit question. I'm gonna give you a bullshit answer. How, what am I supposed to pick? Just, just dumb, dumber, dumbest? Miklatov? <laughs> Wise man? Oh, it's gotta be some random NPC, right? Fuck. What if there's a character that actually doesn't use mana at all? That has no... There's like a being that actually just is like, has like a curse and like can't use mana at all. Fuck me. This is a bullshit question at the end. I think that um, at a certain point, there is no point for me to like think too much about this because there's such a roster of characters. So let's just go with the fun answer. Okay, let, let's, just, let's just go with the fun answer. My bullshit answer is Biko and Subaru. As soon as they used Al Shamak and Biko has used up 400 years of stockpiled mana and because Biko herself cannot organically create mana because of the artificial spirit she is, at that point in time, I think she'd be in last place. But let's give a fun guess after that. Uh, the fun guess after that is going to be... Rickert. The noble that called Felt a sewer rat in Royal Selection. I'm making a haymaker guess. I'm making a insane, stupid haymaker guess. Arena? Yes, there's a stockpile of mana. Amelia would be at the top because she has the most. Okay. Amelia's the top? Damn. Even more than Roswell, huh? Holy shit. Amelia's. I mean, we've seen Amelia's powers. And then Subaru would be lower. Subaru would be towards the bottom, if not the bottom. Well, you said it's not who I think it would be. And obviously, I would say Subaru. And I feel like... I think Subaru has a decent amount of mana, honestly. I don't think he's a last place, though. I think it might even be Reinhardt, because he has to take mana from everywhere around him. This guy just picked Reinhardt. But what if he's actually right? Because, like, episode 3, what did he do? What did he do? He literally gathered all the mana in the room. Now, think about this, right? In order to use that skill, he needed to be able to suck up the mana in the room. And which is an even interesting thing, right? This is actually such an interesting thing because we know that like for magic users to, and this is a sword technique. I don't know the difference between how a sword technique and a regular magic user is used, but a magic user is mana internally source you you are the source of the mana then you push it through the gate a spirit art user collects the mana externally reinhardt did something similar to that external thing where in episode three again amelia was healing and rom and once that healing was done then the mana in the atmosphere is something reinhardt collected now one could assume that reinhardt really can't like, like either the amount of mana that Reinhardt had internally was not enough to execute that sword technique, and that's why he needs to borrow. Meaning, maybe Reinhardt's mana is already so great, but that sword technique is just beyond great, and we need to borrow more. So in that example, Reinhardt has a lot of mana, but in a different scenario, Reinhardt has no mana for whatever reason, which is hard for me to believe for such a godlike character of him. But this does seem like a trick question, which makes me want to believe this is true. And he is actually sucking the mana from the atmosphere and use a sword technique. So if we go in that second logic of thinking, it definitely could be Reinhardt. So can I change my answer? <laughs> no more records. I'll put it at Reinhardt. And if we get this right, it's a 0 0.5, not a full mark. Yes or no? Come on. I've given you enough logic. I know I'm getting bailed out because he mentioned Reinhardt and made me think, but I've just provided you the logic and how I got to my answer. So this is a 0 0.5 if we get this right. So I think my final answer will be Reinhardt. That is correct. What?
Why? This is... This is a crazy trivia. Why would... The godlike character, the strongest character in Rizuru have no mana? Like, expl explain, explain. Yeah! Reinhardt has the least amount of mana Why? out of all the characters. Why? And he has no affinity for any magical element. He was rejected by all six. What? Why is he so special? A guy that was rejected by every element affinity. A guy has no mana. Why? Affinities. For whatever reason. Um, but that was the final question. For whatever reason? Fuck you! For whatever reason? <laughs> <laughs> Even rejected by dad is fucked up. That's messed up. You made that joke. <laughs> but, um, I don't want to know the answer. I feel like this is super. Well, is this a spoiler? It, yeah, is the element fear I give? Is, is this a spoiler or what? I, I'm not really sure. I, I, I don't really know how this shit works. So I don't really want to know. But that's a very interesting trivia. It's cool to know, but I don't want to know why. I want to keep thinking about it. But Reinhardt has the least amount of mana. That episode 3. And another thing interesting with episode 3, when the mana externally was like gravitating to his sword, the other shit was the sound that the sword made. And the more I think about that, the, so the sound the sword made, it's the same sound that Regulus' powers make. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe there's no reason for that sound to be making. Maybe it's just random sound composition. But if it's intentional, like, there seems to be something going on with Regulus's authority sound and Reinhardt's sound, but maybe I'm in schizo territory. Shall we tally up the points? We shall. I think I landed at 17.5, right? Because I fucked around with the Elsa guess. I called Commando, even so I said it's most likely black or purple, right? I got a minus one on that. I also got a minus one on... Uh, I got, I got a minus one on uh, the singing one, right? So that's 18. But the final one, remember? 0 0.5. So 18.5 out of 10. And what is that score? Well, 18 out of 10 is 90. 18.5 is 92.5. 92.5 ain't so bad. I'm going to round that up to 93%. Yep. 92.5, 18.5 out of 20. But I'm going to round that up to... 93%. Fuck you. And that's the video. Is, is there anything more? Is there anything more? You know, you did do another one. All right, let's uh let's let's see David getting roasted. First ReZero trivia quiz. I hope it went okay for everyone. Don't forget to let me know how you did in the comment section. I'd also like some feedback on the exam itself. Was it too easy? Was it too hard? No, I I thought that the questions were pretty fair. I know that this is 4 years ago, so who knows if he's ever going to do this again. One of the things um, that I... I'm not sure if it's a good thing if there's, like, more multiple choice or not. Like, is it good to have multiple choice or good for someone to come up with their own answers? If it's, like, trying to appeal to a broader casual audience, I think a multiple choice way is easier. And I think that for the sake of fun content, just to mirror the who wants to be a millionaire format where you have, like, extra lifeline, calling a friend, bullshit like that, right? David could be the person that's calling a friend or something. It, it, it would just be fun, right? It would just be more fun. So, like, those are some of the things that I'd like to see in the future. All right, um, here's a bonus question. Oh, bonus question. Oh. True or false? Toilets in the ReZero world use a form of magic to flush. What? I'm gonna say true probably, right? Because, like, if you think about Arc 3, right? Sorry, Arc 5 right now. Pristella, there's a literal media to increase and decrease, like, water levels, right? Maybe it's not the exact same thing. So then what? Is every toilet a fucking media? I've never seen a toilet before. No, we've seen one toilet in Roswell's place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The lavatory. Rem and Ram, like, introduced us to it. But, uh, I wanna go through with this, sure. Uh, uh. True or false? <laughs> true. True. Uh, true. 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 I don't know. True. Oh, that yeah. is correct, David. Nice. Um, what? <laughs> toilets in the ReZero world. You All right, guys. Give yourself a bonus question. I am now up to 19.5, which means I am... Well, wait, hold up, hold up. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, my fucking brain. My fucking brain. 19 out of 10 is 95%. I'm at 97.5%. I'm going to round that up. 98%. Fuck you.
Fuck you. I got 98% on this with the bonus. I'm, I'm, I'm cheating. I'm manipulating the numbers. Use a form of magic to flush. What do you think about that? I wish we had that. That's sort of like Japan. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. They use magic. D do you think Roswell uses to- What do you mean that's like Japan? What do you mean? You mean a bidet? Toilet paper or does he just blast himself with water magic? Like <laughs> I just imagine, like, after Roswell takes his shit or something. Well, no, here's the thing. The bidet has to be a different source of water. You can't just take a shit, then use the doo-doo water and increase it and wipe your ass with it. Ew, that's gross. You need to have a separate source of water. Maybe there's, like, a different source of water and he brings that up and just... I don't fucking know. This is a weird thing to think about. The bidet. He's, he uses the bidet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if anyone didn't know, David makes... Ram does it true. ...videos, too. Um, does he? David is getting a shout out from a kid nut. I'm gonna feel kind of sad if this channel is dead right now. You better have done something with this fucking shout out, David. Okay. He's a music channel, I see. Okay, it's a different type of niche. It's, it's, a, it's a music channel. That's David's channel. Um, you can find a link to his channel in the description. David, are there any new videos coming up? Um, well, I'm working on one that's taking a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. That was a pretty fun video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your scores are. But you motherfuckers probably cheated just like kind of what I did by just manipulating the numbers and rounding up and giving bullshit excuses. But I, hey, I think that I presented you enough logic for my bullshit score to make sense. Hope you guys had fun. Here's the link in chat. Please go like the video, sub to a kid in this channel if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next one.